Hello and welcome to another mix-up video and for this mix-up I have Kamchatka, Kamchatka Vodka and introduced in 1944 and I think the original headquarters for the company was well, it was introduced by a company called Hart, H-A-R-T, Hart Liquor Heart beverages, whatever company, uh, heart distilling, but they, they, um, I think they were in California, but they, uh, it's owned by James B. Bean Distilling today of Kentucky, and that's where it's bottled in Kentucky. Notice it says bottled in Kentucky, it doesn't say made there. It's probably made in Indiana. There's the double headed eagle, once again, you see this on many Russian themed products representing the Eastern and Western Roman Empire which is, there's a relationship between that and the Moscow, or as they call it, the third room. Vodka with premium liqueur. Once again, vodka with premium liqueur. Uh, don't know what the concept is behind that, uh, but it's a winning concept, obviously, because these premium vodkas with premium liqueur, you know, everything's premium. Premium vodka with premium liqueur is like so common in Louisiana. Introduced 1944, at some point along the line, Beam got a hold of it. You can look at it on their website if they added it today. No, they don't They don't talk about this on their website. They um, don't showcase this product, but they make it. <laughs> All right, or at least they bottle it. Um, but they add the premium liqueur, which to me tastes like some kind of sugar cream like a fondant, you know, like they had in the Cad like they have in the Cadbury eggs, like a sugar cream liqueur. Which is fine, I guess. It smells pretty neutral, a little corniness to it. Something is probably corn vodka, yellow corn, grits. Can't say that for sure, but it smells that way. Okay, taste. <laughs> it's sugary. This is even sh more sugary than the um Nikolai from Buffalo Trace in Kentucky also. Uh, they But they make it. This is produced by, not bottled by, produced by Buffalo Trace. Well, the Nikolai Company. Mm -hmm. Or if you read the back of the bottle carefully, Sazerac.com, the owners of Buffalo Trace. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, whose headquarters is in New Orleans, about 30 miles from here. You can go to the Sazerac house. It's a wonderful tour. But anyway, yeah, so I guess some people like sugar in their vodka because these things sell like crazy. Now, I'm not going to say the Kamchatka does. I bought the Kamchatka at one place in Louisiana, Rendy in Hammond. Rendy gas station, convenience store, in reality a liquor store, but it's they, they are, they're a convenience store. I think there's something to do with laws in Louisiana. If you're a liquor store, you got to pay this much tax. But if you're a convenience store that just happens to sell liquor, you got to pay that much tax, see? So we have a lot of gas stations and convenience stores that just, oh, they just happen to sell liquor, which might make up, you know, 95% of their products. <laughs> um, but they're smart, you know, they'll cover themselves. They got milk, chocolate bars, band-aids. Rendy, gasoline, pure gas, no ethanol, but it's, and they even sell food like uh, Star sells boudin that they make every day, and Rendy has a, a little lunch counter where they sell um, like whatever, they're selling fried chicken livers or something like that, but they, um, but yeah, that's what they are. All right, so this is nice. I'll give it a B, 86. I think it's on par with the Nikolai. Uh, maybe I prefer the Nikolai. It's a little less heavy-handed on the sugar, but it's fine. Now, Jones, green apple soda pop. Uh, sorry, soda, sugar, cane sugar soda. I like the fact that they use real cane sugar, all right? Instead of high fructose corn syrup. Oh, my goodness. But um, Although, I got to admit, Tahitian Treat uses that stuff, and it's pretty dang good. In fact, it's the best of those fruit punch, I think. But anyway, this thing's got too much tap water flavor. I'm not against tap. 
and that tastes pretty good as a mix up it's let's say an 81 for a mix up a b minus the jones soda though it's so much tap water it's crazy i don't think i got a bad batch i just think that's how it tastes and i can go run faucet and get water so uh yeah, I bought that at $1.25 tree. I'm going to give it a 77 like I did in the previous two videos. It's a C. It's average, but it's not a good product. I wouldn't buy it. I like the other Jones. Would I try other Jones soft drinks? I would try them because uh, they are made with cane sugar. They're from the Dominion of Canada. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter where they're made, but I'm just, just giving you information. And then they're certified kosher, which is good if you, if that's important to you. And um. And they have a nice little program where they let you send in your photos and they might put them on the bottle if they like the photo. Um, they're black and white photos, what they use. Um, so yes, I would try other Jones sodas. I plan to. It's just that uh, this one didn't work out. All right, so yeah, well, there we go. Heck. But that's cool. We'll tr keep trying them. And uh, But I got a lot of Calypsos coming up, those... Uh, Fancy Pants Lemonades with all the different flavors from Wisconsin. Walmart had a super sale on them, so I went and bought all kind of all kind of bottles. All right, so Lazy Le Bon Ton Relay, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Canada and take a soft drink tour. You know, I'm talking about soft drink factory tour.